Hi, thank you for tuning in. It's DJ here from CozyRC and in this video I'm going to show you how I made the carbon hatch for my GeForce Twin Mono and also how I attached it to the hull. So let's go. Last time I ran with the G-Force I blew the hatch off and the hatch mounting also just ripped out of the hole. So I'm going to reinforce the hatch mounting in the hole. So I made these 2mm carbon plates for each corner and basically I drilled many holes in them so the glue can go through the hole and bond better with the hole. So the idea is to glue these plates underneath the existing wood to make it very strong and stiff that's also why this plate runs longer to give a good mounting surface and I will do that for each corner I will epoxy them with uh, thickened epoxy I will thicken the epoxy with cotton flakes and I think it will be very strong then for the hatch itself this is the bottom plate the base plate this is where the foam cockpit comes. I will first laminate the bottom. I will start with applying on each corner a small piece of carbon fiber on all four corners. And then on top of that, one big weave of carbon fiber. So that will give a very strong base. And then later on, I will put the foam here, the cockpit shape, and laminate the cockpit and the wood all together. Oh, mm -hmm. 
currently working on the hatch mounting, so the hatch supports in the corners of the hull, they were damaged during the last crash. And on top, the wood was partly ripped off, so I filled the sections with thickened epoxy. I thickened the epoxy with micro balloons. So the way I did it, I just put a tape around the edge, and then I dropped the thickened epoxy, and it poured into the corner nicely, and now it's cured, so now I have to make it level. So that is nicely flush with the wooden strips. I also got myself some nice new thumb screws for securing the hatch. Previously I used M3 thumb screws, these are M4, a little bit larger. And uh, these flange nuts, these red flange nuts, basically I will put them below the carbon fiber plate that I glued into the hole. So this flange nut goes underneath here. Of course I have to drill a hole through and through, then this flange nut will be glued beneath here. And then the hatch will be secured with this thumb screw going through the thumb nut. So in each corner there is a big flange nut, M4, and it is applied underneath a 2mm carbon plate. And on top of this surface I filled the damaged wood with thickened epoxy. And then when I apply the hatch, I put a thumb screw and it secures into the nut and the thumb screw presses down the hatch. So it looks like this on all four corners. It feels really strong and stiff, so I have good confidence that this will be crash proof. So when I take the hatch, which came out really good, it has a glass fiber section for the GPS signal, also at the bottom. I might open up the hatch from the inside to give a little bit more space for the cooling lines, but basically there's no need, so I might keep it like this. It's nice and strong. So if I apply the hatch on top, the thumb screws go on in each corner, like this. Easy to apply, no tools required. And of course I also tape the edge all around when I run the boat. So that's how it looks like. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Next up is the paint job. I'm really excited to give it a nice paint job. So that will be for our next video. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!